eating all of you. Why not? That's rude. I mean, you can, but you can't eat all of them. Why not? That's rude. I mean, you can, but just don't be talking and eating at the same time. That's rude. Girl, that's all I was just, all I was just talking about. Okay, you ready? You wanted that? <laughs> no, I didn't fucking want it. Pick it up. You can look at yourself or whatever, but like when you talking, try to look here because that's where the camera at. Does it look like I'm looking there? I can't tell. Where are you looking? <laughs> at the spot that you don't look at. Uh, What's that? Look yeah, it looks like you're looking at me whenever you look at the spot. Whenever you're looking at the camera. I'm so you trying to sound cross-eyed? No. But if you ain't talking, then it's okay. But as long as you, like, as long as you're talking, you need to look right there. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hey, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this Angelique TV where we talk about everything and what I mean everything. Long-awaited video. That's how you say it, right? That's long. That's long. No, just fuck it. This most anticipated video. There you go. Yeah, see? Uh-huh. So. That's why we're sitting here like we about to. Some of the <laughs> <laughs> um, we like recorded the video like a couple weeks ago and I ain't fucking like it. Like I ain't fucking like how I looked and he ain't fucking like how he looked. Well I still No, you don't. Well I did I'm gonna tell from the skittle. See? I told you, don't be talking and fucking Did y'all not just see, you know what? Y'all know what. Y'all heard what I just told him. I just you see, niggas don't listen. Niggas don't listen to shit I say. No. No, oh, no. Can I was you choke on the pill. Yeah, you gotta get the choke on the pill. If you ain't got no water or if that shit like like get stuck or whatever. Look, that's my second one. I drive. You must want one. You want that? I don't fucking want no damn Skittles, my nigga. Don't <laughs> party I ain't trying to choke. You know choking. So, um <laughs> Fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you guys on YouTube, Snapchat, and Instagram, like, you know, anything y'all wanted to know. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into the questions. Before we do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't subscribed already. Y'all obviously know who the fuck this is. It's my husband. This is Gabe, the infamous Gabe. You know, all of that good stuff that I've been talking about for these past few story times. Well, it's been like uh, about like two years. Well, it's been over. Almost two years. Yeah, it's been, it's been a minute. My skills are stuck in the bag. Um, Mom's like it. that too. Mm -hmm. That's because you shouldn't be eating the skills while we're doing this video. We should start eating. No. No, 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 no. Like when they pretty and ghetto uh -huh, Type uh -huh. of bitch that don't even say hello And whenever we fuck, she be fucking me back Put her in the headlock with my elbow uh -huh. Now she done reversed Got a bone and dick and ride this shit like a Camaro How do you balance being a mom and working from home? Just kind of pick up a routine Sometimes I like pre-cook while I'm working And then finish afterwards Sometimes I just fucking wait till afterwards But, um, I don't know I just do it And as far as children, like Whenever I'm home or whenever they're home, like for on the weekend, because I work on Saturdays um, and they're home, I just make sure I tell their ass to stay in the room. And if they come out the room, then we're gonna have a muscle problem. So, first off, I wanna say I'm proud of you and you came a long way. I love your channel. How y'all enjoying the married life? What obstacles have y'all had, if any, and how did y'all overcome them? Can you get out my hair before? It's okay, I guess. Boy, what the <laughs> fuck you mean? It's okay. But no, we really no obstacles. Not yet, at least. We don't really argue that much, and if we do, it's because somebody have an attitude. It's like almost like every every other month or once a month we have an argument because of her attitude. Her attitude. Don't say because of my attitude. It's because of your attitude as well. See how she's talking to me. Attitude. Also, you gonna go on, you gonna get on this camera and act like, okay. Attitude, people. He gonna get on Can this camera and see? act you like he ain't be having no attitudes. It. Okay. Anyway. It's because of her attitude. <laughs> no, it's because of his attitude. He gonna get on this camera and act like he don't be having no stank ass attitude. I play around with her and she think I, I be having an attitude. I don't be knowing if he be playing or not. And sometimes I don't be even playing that yeah, so move. And I be like, how old are you and your husband? I'm 23. 22. Oh 
Boy, boy. Oh yeah, you're right. I'm 23. Mm, boy. My day ones know damn well he ain't no goddamn 23. Cause my day ones know damn well I lied to him by my age. I told him I was 13, but really I was 12 making 13. But he really thought I was 13 making 14 while he had just made 16. So y'all do the math. I'm 23, people. What is my favorite food? Uh, my favorite food is seafood, um, Italian. When is your husband's birthday? His birthday is actually in three days. Yep, getting on up though. Yeah, I'll be 24 this year. If you could go anywhere on vacation with your husband, where would you go? How long and how long have you been married? I want to go to Jamaica. What about you? Jamaica sounds like. How long have we been married? Almost four months. See, you never opened a P.O. box, so you don't want any gifts from the heart of your YouTube family, question mark. Um, Gabe, how much do you love Angie? Um, I've been asked about a P.O. box before, but I never really just did it. If y'all want me to, I can, I guess. I'll let y'all know whenever I do. Gabe, how much do you love Angie? I love her a lot. Typical answer, right? Right. <laughs> I was getting ready to say, just that's it? Just a lot? <laughs> yourselves in five years some of y'all may know if you guys follow um, nikki j beauty uh, me and nikki we are collaborating with each other starting our own cosmetic line that is supposed to drop sometime in december so hopefully um that goes well i see myself successful a successful business owner i'm also want to kind of do like some film um i want to kind of like i want to bring my stories to life at some point but I just don't know how I'm gonna do it. And so, um, I'm gonna do it some type of way though. One of these days, whether it's a movie or an actual series, a show, I don't know. But I actually wanna like bring it to life instead of me just sitting down and talking about it. So, yeah. What about you? Will you see yourself in five years? Other than getting on my nerves. That's what just about it, getting on your nerves. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be done with school by then. What are you going to school for? The world's gonna go for architect. I think I'm gonna go a little bit more in my IT. Get you a nigga that can fix shit. It's just up in the air. Get you a nigga that can fix shit, like I said. What's your biggest dream for me? I have about like 15 more kids. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> See, you about to make me go make a doctor's appointment tomorrow. I need some birth control. I need something. I don't know. Cause yeah, she birth needs something. Somebody I need some suggestions because the pill ain't working. Um, uh, what, what, what else did I not say I was going to not do? Tried the pill so far. But, I, oh yeah, the implant thing. I'm not, I don't want nothing in my arm. I don't know. Give me some ideas because, bitch, what's your biggest dream for me? I heard to be successful. I mean, that's pretty much what everybody would want, right? For their wife or their husband to be successful. How are you dealing that's with... That's about, like, 15 more kids. Bro Go ahead. How are you dealing with the raising kids that aren't biologically with yours? It's pretty easy, you know. I treat them like they're mine. Is there any challenges? No, not really. She said she's a single mom, too, so she was just curious as to how men actually feel about that. How did you feel whenever, like, I came to your house that first time and... I had bought my two kids. And Man, I really just feel not I, I got kids of my own, so, you know, and they always around. How many more kids do y'all want? And how... Fifteen. Nada. No more. Zero. None. Period. No more. Fifteen. He hooked up six fingers. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. That's the fire. Fifteen. And would you both do everything all over again to find each other? Me, personally, I wouldn't have changed how it how we did it because I felt like if we would have stayed together like he would have been my first and he I would have been his first and you know not saying nothing is wrong with that but I feel like the fact that both both of us had experience whenever we came back to each other's or whenever we came back into each other's lives and so by us both having experience together we were just like magical I probably wouldn't do it that didn't happen I didn't have my daughters or anything I be I would probably been out here while and y'all. Did y'all buy your house yet? No, we didn't buy our house yet. We are currently in the process of like building that credit. We want to be able to be in the house before the or by the end of the year because our lease is gonna be up in January. How did you feel about getting married? Um, I felt cool with it. I mean, I've always wanted to get married. Honestly, I never thought I would get married. Like after all of the niggas, all those relationships like kind of put like a 
bitter taste in my mouth. After my last relationship, I just knew that like a bitch wasn't getting married. I just knew that a bitch was just about to be to herself, single, just you know, living it up by herself. But um, God had other plans, and uh, I'm married now. How did you feel about getting married? Discombobulated. <laughs> So you try to say I drunk, I drunk <laughs> and then they're just okay. I don't know what happened, y'all. I just woke up and I was on my knees. <laughs> Shut up! What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Shut up! I woke up with a ring in my hand. <laughs> Oh my God. I wouldn't say woke up. I just came to my senses and realized what was happening. It was too late. How do you fucking feel about getting married, my nigga? Excited, happy. First opinion of each other. My first opinion whenever I first met him for the very first time was damn this nigga he like tall he be playing basketball and shit he like cute he's sexy i wonder what his name is he was a stalker he just happened to be everywhere i was no no <laughs> i was 13. no he was a uh a, a baby stalker it wasn't no i was i just happened to be where she was yeah that's what no, exactly it, it was. wasn't. We walked around the apartment, me and my homeboys, and next thing you know, we got three musketeers walking behind us. He's talking about me and my two best friends every time. And everywhere we stop, they just walk by, and they just keep coming right on by us. No, y'all <laughs> just kept coming right on by us. No, it ain't. Well, he passed me by again. Oh, girl, look at him. Let's go this way. My first opinion, whenever I first saw him, whenever I saw him for the first, for, well, the second time, technically, um, after all of the years, you know, us being, you know, grown and sexy and, you know what I'm saying, um, was... Damn, he got a nice car. He got a nice car. That was the first impression. First of all, whenever you wrote me on Facebook, and you had a picture of you sitting in front of your car. So obviously you wanted somebody to know what kind of car you had, my nigga. Like, nah, I just took your picture. Well. It just had to happen. My car to be right there. Oh, okay. Well, that was the first thing that I noticed. That was my first opinion was that he had a nice car. What was your first opinion of me? Well, I'm going to tell y'all my childish when I was 16, my first opinion. Let me tell you, my child, this is what y'all can see. My first opinion is like, oh my God, she's so tall. <laughs> God. She's about the same height as me, people. I'm not the same height as you no more. You grew a little bit. I don't feel like I did. Mm, you trust me, you've grown a little yeah, bit. Yeah, my stomach grew. <laughs> I grew all right. But uh, I was like, she's tall. She was skinny. She was like real skinny back then. She put on a little bit of weight. But back then, oh, you just take, you just grab her by one of her legs and hold her upside down. She was skinny, people. She was skinny. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I had to do that. That kind of stinks. I don't like dumb. I don't even eat that much. Anyway, what was your second, your first opinion of me whenever you saw me for the second time? I wasn't even done with my first one. You keep interrupting, dog. And I was like, oh, she's pretty. She, you know, she got a little, you see her skin tone? She got a little pretty little red skin tone, you know? Or I wouldn't say red. Which, what would you call your skin tone? I wouldn't say red. Let's just say, uh. Like a caramel, caramel and yeah. cream. Because caramel is darker than this, technically. But when you add a little cream to it, like, you know. I don't know, think caramel is darker than this. I think caramel. Or like coffee. Well, you know how coffee looks whenever you put cream in it? It looks like that. Coffee and cream? No. no you need caramel. Well, no. That was my opinion. When I first saw her when I was 16, when I first saw her. I went up. <clears throat> she came to my house. Just walking down in the sun. Was just beaming all over your body. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> you know, she ain't had the glasses on and nothing, you know, I was like, ooh, 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 ooh. And when she got your glasses on, we're like, bring a little nerdy ass on over here. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Oh, my God. When did y'all decide to get married? When did you decide you wanted, okay, me. I want to marry her? She came at me with a knife in the room and told me that I was going to marry her. That is a lie. I was scared. I couldn't do anything, y'all. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Answer the fucking <laughs> question! I told myself, you know, after my 
to my last marriage, I wasn't gonna get married again. I thought about personality, I like her personality, you know. You got pretty good vibe with each other, so I decided to put a ring on it. When is the wedding and do you want more kids? No, hell the fuck no. 15. We Stop saying that before that shit fucking happens. You were just putting them hoes out. I don't know. I own a house right now. I'm not really focused on a wedding, but we are gonna have a wedding. Just right now, um, I don't know. And then whenever we do, it probably be like like a nice little ceremony, like vow renewal, some shit like that, probably. But as far as a big wedding right now, I just want a house, like this whole one. After all of the hardship you faced as a teen, what gave you assurance um, that your ex was your forever guy? What gave me assurance is whenever he like took me in, made me feel safe and made me feel like I had nothing to worry about. Like, even though I just came out of just like crazy ass situation with this guy that I had been dating. I came his brother and then his brother-in-law, they had came. Um, we all came together in, in like two, three different cars. Traveled an hour to get my things in the middle of the night. My locks were changed on the apartment. Um, my stuff was still in there, so his brother like broke the lock, and so you know they all helped me get my stuff in there. But whoa, he just, whoa, 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 whoa! We plead the fifth. Oh, um, who's she talking about? Somebody broke the lock, and you know the door just fucking open, you know. And um, we got my things, and um, he's just shown me ever since that he's he do just about anything for me, and you know he go out his way and stuff. And um, cause he he know better. What did your family think of him? Um, I mean they thought he was cool or whatever. I never really heard Don't anything. Don't lie to these people. I mean that's what they did in the beginning. I mean, <laughs> in the beginning. <laughs> they don't really think nothing of you now. He's like he's a serious person like naturally, and so he he doesn't have a smile on his face all the time. And so my family um, over a course of time like kind of felt like he really wasn't friendly and he just naturally has a mean face like that's just him he can't help that but people don't if you don't know who he is or don't try to get to know who he is then you're gonna take that as like oh this nigga don't like me or something like that but you know. you on your money. <laughs> <laughs> is gabe really good with the other two kids yeah he is of course he's a great father to his own kids at that so whenever i knew that he might be the one turns out bitch he was one how's his relationship with them um, he has a normal relationship with them. Nothing more, nothing less. What do y'all dislike about each other? Okay, this nigga, he got a Dodge Challenger. And he did some work to it and the shit is it's, it's loud and it's fast. And whenever I'm in the car with him, I be feeling like I'm about to catch a heart attack. Like I literally have to close my eyes. And I, you would think, you would think after being with somebody for so long that you know, you be used to their driving, but bitch, I am not used to his driving. Like, girl, like, oh my god, like well, this. I don't this, like your driving either, Miss Nancy. I drive Miss Daisy, and I'm perfectly Grandma fine with that. Grace, That's fine. Driving to church. We yeah. gon' we gonna make it there though, in one piece. We make it everywhere we go. Barely. 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 That's a lie. Barely. That ain't but a lie. That, that's a lie. Whenever we make it to our destination, I be all broke up. My my blood pressure be all high. I didn't have a headache. Shit, she my, lied. I ain't no fuck. <laughs> she lied. Shit, lie. Shit, don't let me wear no wig. Do what your wig gonna do? Anything. Don't let me wear no wig in your car. That bitch gonna be flying. She's lying. And nigga, you drive like you upset. I be sometimes having to look over to make sure like he good doing all this whipping and you know going in and out of lanes and, and what stuff. I, be, I be trying to get through that traffic. What you talking about? Ain't nobody want to see. And I traffic. be trying to not have a heart attack and not die. Well, go to sleep. Go to sleep. You don't, I don't know how you gonna go to sleep. You, you fall asleep in the car plenty of times. Look, look. It must be not be that bad if you can fall asleep. Shit, we, we probably was stuck in traffic. That's why nah, I fell asleep. We, nah. Cause if we were nah. moving steady, then I would. Nah, I had to karate chop you in your throat to wake you up. <laughs> no, the fuck you didn't. <laughs> yeah, I did. No, the fuck you did. Yeah. His shoes be everywhere. My shoes do not be everywhere. Your shoes be in the middle of the fucking you alive. floor. You alive? Where my shoes at right now? I don't know. In the closet, on their shelf. Yeah, now they are. Nah, but like, whenever we nah, first, whenever nah. we'll go home, hey, or whenever we'll come home. You can't judge me on my past. Whenever we'll you come can't home. Judge me on my past. No, ain't, no. I, mean, I no. am not judging you no. on your past. You can't judge me on my past. Cause they ask, what do you dislike yeah. about each other? I can't tell you something I dislike about you right now. Cause you ain't doing shit. 
So technically, it's gonna always be the past. I just like your tone right now. I just like your tone. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, I can tell you that right now. Well, fuck. <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna have a word with you. I'm gonna have a word with you too. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to talk. Yeah, we're gonna have a discussion. Yeah, we okay? sure gonna have a discussion. Yeah, uh, okay. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. all right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What you dislike about me? No further comment. <laughs> Y'all ain't about to have me sleeping on the sofa. <laughs> so, what, what? good night. <laughs> Anyways. What the fuck you making that face for? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> like, you have to take that shit or something. What the fuck? I'm just trying to see how long my eyes can go before they look like they're closed. She's probably seeing something else too. It's like she's on something about it. Too weird. Nah, nigga. She entertained this type of shit. I'm trying to fucking see what the fuck you doing. Anyways, that's it, y'all. My baby in the screaming. I think he he does. Y'all, I'm pretty sure y'all can hear him. I carried him around for 24 years. Gosh, there you go. 24. Y'all know damn well he ain't no 24. Um. Sticking to that story. I'm going to stick to the story. While he's sticking to his story, we gonna uh wrap this up because bitch, I'm tired. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm tired. Um, I have a lot of footage to edit tomorrow. Get off this camera so I can continue to be bothered because he bothers me all day. That's what I'm supposed to do. We're gonna see y'all next time. Anything else you want to tell, tell the people? Any other words? Any last words? I had a good outro. A good outro? Yeah, I can't remember. Um, I thought we outro like. Oh, yeah. Sweet dick out.